is that it does not necessarily mean that we have to travel to connect with people. An example is the fact that I'm connecting with you right now, but I'm not traveling. I'm, I'm at, in my office in Bangalore. Uh, so it is, and we've talked about whether the mobility hubs, uh, especially that Smart has been talking about, whether those hubs could perform the function of a smart work center. By having a set of smart work centers across a city like Bangalore, what we allow people to do is not necessarily travel all to the same, same place or the center of the city, which is already congested, but look at more optimal modes whereby they could continue to interact and uh, serve a number of their needs, even without having to travel all the way to a congested area. So when we think about smart and connected transportation and mobility, uh, there are a few basic principles that come to mind. The first, of course, is much better and much more predictable uh, multimodal and seamless uh, transportation the, the, uh, to be able to allow people to transfer between modes of service absolutely uh, seamlessly. It's about taking services to people and not only people to services, which has been our traditional mode of thinking about transportation. And finally, it's about being able to connect people with other people being able to connect people with information and people with services anywhere and at any time. And if you look at uh, a map of the city uh, and then think about a digital overlay that goes on top of that city, uh, we have a, a lovely mesh, a lovely network of how that interactivity can be built. Finally, uh, a question around uh, the question around does new mobility mean new business opportunities? And I'm uh, now going to talk about a few such opportunities for businesses uh, in inner city like Bangalore or in an Indian city. Uh, the first is that there could there is going to be a lot of new services that are offered around uh, the context sensitivity and location sensitivity, things like advertising. Uh, which, which obviously creates a completely new dynamic of the way we interact with our environment. Virtual experts on the move giving advice around, what, around uh, services such as for travel, for example, for a tourist who's coming in can seek advice on where they are and what they should be doing, what they should be seeing. There are, there are going to be a number of new mobility-based businesses uh, that would be created uh, such as a, a retailer on, on wheels, something that we've always gone to a, a supermarket, we've physically gone to a supermarket and done our shopping. What this allows businesses to do is to take those services right to the doorstep of customers. Obviously, around the smart work centers, there's going to be a number of services that, uh, that would be offered around uh, not just the, the uh, the center itself and the connectivity between the centers, but also adjunct services around all of that. And finally, uh, there is going to be a lot of scope for information services, optimization, and so on, information-based services around transport and transit. So in conclusion, smart and connected transportation would result in bringing people together, but that is going to be done in a more efficient and effective manner than we've seen in the past. Obviously, this is also going to result in a much better sustainability from an environmental perspective. We're going to see, hopefully, a reduction in the cost of specialist services, and that, as Amit just pointed out too, is going to be very critical for a country such as India. And finally, it's about making our communities a lot more livable and likable and uh, and, and help perhaps this whole dream of uh, communities with their aspirations come true. But what we must remember that is that while all of this is enabled by technology, it is not just technology that is going to make it happen. It's about the infrastructure around it. It's about the fact that people and businesses are able to create the models that would make all of this sustainable. And uh, with that, I come to the end of my presentation. Thank you once again for listening, and uh, thank you for the opportunity.